Keith Asobaldi, the former Deputy Chief Minister of the GSD. It's a bill which I present after I say in Parliament during the course of my budget debate in 2014 that I want to create such a body and I talk about the fact that there's going to need to be an official Secrets Act sort of provision and Sir Peter Carvana, the former leader of the GSD, the man who was the GSD for a very long time, him and Peter Montalifo really were the GSD, says that he believes that is a good step to take and that he will form part of it and that he will serve. So the current GSD is taking another position. Now look, if Mr. Fetum doesn't want to form part of this consultative council, well so be it. But he is not going to be able to find out some of the things that I share with people there. I won't be sharing things there which are entirely secret. We may be talking about issues which have appeared in the press and on which I am taking advice. There may be some instances where I want to share very sensitive information with people in that room. I may not be given the information myself unless the people I'm going to share it with are also subject to constraints as to how they can share that information. Mr. Fetum doesn't want to share that information because he can't go outside, get a loud hailer and tell the community. Well, look, then he's not the sort of person who's going to want to be in this sort of discreet committee. Mr. Fietham and Mr. Vasquez in the interview that I did with him yesterday say that they only found out the details of what it would mean to be a member of the council when the bill was published. Because I notice that you say that he had two years in which to object. His justification and the GSD's justification is that they didn't know the specifics until very recently. Well, Mr. Vasquez, who has absolutely no political experience other than having fought one election and lost it, having defended a no in the referendum for the Constitution and lost that too, uh, was not in Parliament. And I would forgive him that in 2014 when I made my speech at the time of the budget and I said specifically that I would be creating this body and that it would be a body created subject to signature of the Official Secrets Act. I specifically said that. And as I told you, the former leader of the GSD said he would serve, Sir Peter said he would serve, despite that. I've heard nothing from Daniel Featham in the two years since I made that speech. The only issue they have taken now in relation to the Gibraltar Consultative Council is the issue of the Official Secrets Act, which I stated explicitly in my speech in June 2014. So they, they had all of that time to approach me informally and say, look, Fabian, we think this is an issue. Can you explain to us how it would work? Could you exempt the leader of the opposition from that particular uh, section? They made no such representations. So either they weren't listening in Parliament in 2014, or they're just looking for excuses not to form part of a body, which I think is in the interest of our community, to mature our democracy so that I can have experts advising me on a discrete basis, something that happens everywhere else in the world. And what about Mr. Vasquez's comment that the only reason you've included the leader of the opposition is, if I remember his expression correctly, to give the council a veneer of political correctness? Well, he said a veneer of balance. I mean, I, I think it's utter nonsense. I mean, the people who are going to be members of this committee are going to include my principal political opponent, uh, Peter Carvana, it's going to include uh, Peter Montelifo, who was a Deputy Chief Minister, if he accepts, Keith Asopaldi, who was a Deputy Chief Minister, if he accepts, Joe Holliday, who was a Deputy Chief Minister, if he accepts. Those are four people against whom I fought hammer and tongs. Doesn't mean I don't have good personal relationships with them and that I value the advice they may give in particular uh, instances. So there's no need to bring Daniel Fetum on board for there, there to be any balance. In fact, the heavyweights in the GSD, the intellectual power of the GSD, which is now absent from the GSD front bench or even its executive, and the people who I've mentioned. So I really don't need to think of including the current leader of the opposition to provide any sort of balance or intellectual merit from the GSD side of the political divide in Gibraltar. And in terms of the council itself, will this be a meeting soon? How far are you towards constituting it in terms of who's accepted already, who's declined and who has yet to reply? Well, I was very happy to be able to commence the act uh, last week. Uh, I'm now going to start talking to people. I hope to be able to constitute the council before the end of December. I want 2016 to be the year when it is